Hey guys, what's up? Um, so this is a quick little video on how to ping computers. So I have two computers here. Well, on the screen I have two computers, but they're on separate monitors. But this is how um, to ping. So first, I'm going to start with the Windows. Um, I'm going to start with the Windows machine, and what we're just going to want to do is just do IP uh, config. That's going to show all of the all of your uh, IP information, your IP address and whatnot, but I'm just going to do all and bring this down. And what this does is that it shows us all of the information that we need to ping with our other machine over here. So we can just see some information like the host name and what the you know the computer name and the IP uh, some information here. But as we can see, our IP address is 192.168.1.11, and it's right here as we can see. I know it's kind of small, but it's right here. You can pause and look at it. Um, if you just typed IP config it's not as much uh, information as all of this so you might put down the wrong address as this shows all of like this uh, DHCP information the server and whatnot address but when you just do I, uh, IP config it just gives you the needed information like the address the subnet which is 255 and then the gateway which is of course point one, and our address is point one one. Point one or whatever nine one two one six eight one one or zero one or ten zero 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 one or whatever is always going to be the the gateway, uh, and then the IP address is right here. So let's get on our other machine here, and I am going to quickly get in here. And let's just do an I, uh, IW config. Oop. Uh, I think it's. Oh, it's IF config, right? Windows IP config. Linux, most of the time, IF config. IW config is to show you your adapters. Okay, so here we have some information as well. Let's see if I can zoom in. No, I cannot. How do I make this bigger? I do not know how. Oh well. So we have some things here. So we have the address, the IP address, which is right here. Okay, boom. There's the IP address. This is the loopback address. This one seven. 127001 that's on every computer that's just the local your local address but this is the IP address internet protocol address of the computer right here so to make sure that these two computers can talk to each other we want to ping it and what happens during ping pinging is that one machine the windows machine because I'm going to initiate it from the windows machine is going to send data through the router and then it's going to come back into this machine and then it's going to connect to this machine and then if the uh, Linux machine over here it's going to receive the data and then what's going to do is gonna, it's and then it's going to send back the data to this machine and it'll show us with a reply and it would show how fast it was so we just need to do ping and then we need to put it on Put uh, one six eight or one one eight. Uh, ah, what am I doing? One six eight point one point one two. Now, in order for this to work, two computers have to be on the same network. And it looks like we've gotten replies. So what this is, what window, what we're doing on this machine, what this machine is doing is that it is taking thirty two bytes of data, and it is sending it through the network to this machine which is 
one, two. That's the, my Kali Linux machine. So it's sending it to that address. Once my Kali Linux machine gets that bit, though that 32 bytes of data, then what it does is that it sends it back to the Windows machine. And that's why we say, and that's why we see reply from 192.168.1.12 with 32 bytes and then the time is the time. And then for the statistics, you can see, you can read it, packets, sent four packets, as we can see here. The Kelly Linux machine received four packets because we sent four. There were zero lost, and they all came back. Sometimes you lose some. Sometimes you sent four and you received zero. Then that means it's not connected all the way. If you sent two and, it, and only two came back or two got lost, then there's something a little bit you know, going on there. Now, what I can do here is go to this address, which is uh, which is 192.168.112 or 11. Yeah. And what we can do on Kylie Linux machine is then start that and as we can see this is just by the way for Microsoft it only does four four packets it sends four packets but with Linux or Kali Linux it keeps going keeps going so I'm gonna do a control C to quit that and what we can see with this is that it sent 64 bytes um, to um, to um, point one one, which is the Windows machine, and it sent uh, sixty four bytes, and then it got, and then it hit the Windows machine, and then they sent them back. So as you can see below. 18 packets transmitted, 18 packets sent, and then 18 received, meaning it came back. And then the time, time doesn't really matter because this only did four, and then this did 18 of them, and it, it would keep going. If these do not ping, then there is something with your network that is not set up correctly, and that's why these two machines or your two machines aren't pinging. Now, these are these right here are two virtual machines that I have running, so I have them in NAT networks, but it is uh, the same with any of the other um, any of your other network settings. If you are doing virtual machines with maybe not Oracle uh, VirtualBox, but um, any of the other ones, I mean it's it's really the same thing. So that's how you test to see if two computers are able to talk to each other. And then once they are, then you're able to uh, continue with uh, whatever you were planning to do. But that's like really any, any part of networking after setting up two computers or more computers is depending on what you're going to use them for. And then if you need to make sure that they're actually able to talk to each other. That's, you know, that's the same thing with the, with like if you got a Windows server running and then a couple of other virtual machines or hypervisors or whatever, um, or, you know, virtual LANs or whatever, then you got to, you know, make sure that they all connect first uh, and they're, you know, able to ping together and talk to each other. If not, if not, then everything you do on the server is not going to get to the machines. It's not going to 